Partially crazy in my mind, but the genius is out When I was trapped in California, all I've seen is a drought I'm better now, got a better plan to get the cake So much for this adhesive, huh? <clears throat> to let you guys know that this the wooden desk I was talking about, it's gonna be here next week. So although this looks pretty clean right now, it's gonna be even better. And I wanna get like real sound panels, like actual ones instead of these that I poorly tried to build. I guess be careful what you wish for, right? You say the truth, and they come at you with So the question of the day today is should you copyright your beats? Is there a need to copyright your beats? Should you copyright your beats if you're putting beats out, if you're sending beats to people? The quick answer that I like to tell people is no, don't worry about it. The reason I wanted to talk about this in this vlog today is a lot of people get stuck at that point where they're worrying too much about copyright and not even putting their beats out there. And there's really no need to worry about that. There's a few different ways you can be a producer in 2018. You can sell beats on the internet. You can send beats to an artist. You can make beat making videos. You can do all three. So there's different reasons why you might need copyright. Copyright is essentially just something that protects you so no one steals your music. In my opinion, it's just another one of those things that deters people from getting started. It deters people from putting out beats because they think they need to copyright it. Honestly, I'm guilty of it too. Not necessarily copywriting, but content ID. I didn't want to put other people's songs in my videos because I was th I, I used to think, oh man, imagine if this person eventually stops being independent, gets signed, and then the label starts content and ID, and I have their song in here, and they start taking down all my videos, three strikes, YouTube, my career's over. When it comes to protecting your beats, like that's why we have tags. Let's say you copyrighted your music, and you copyrighted your music so you had the actual rights to it. Someone can still steal your music. It doesn't protect someone from stealing one of your beats and using it. It just makes it a lot easier if that song turned into some sort of a hit for you to say, hey, um, I own this. But still, at the same time, you're gonna have to take the steps to do that. Like, you're still gonna have to make the effort to do something about it. Um, it's not just like a thing where you send them the screenshot of the copyright and then magically you get your splits. You're still gonna have to do something about it. It's like if someone came up, it's like if someone came up to, to you in the middle of the street and just punched you in the face. They're not, they're not just gonna get slapped with a battery charge the next day. Like you literally have to sue them and take them to court. And then it's this whole process. So if you're worried about someone making 50 bucks off of some stupid song on SoundCloud, then it doesn't even matter anyways. And you might get to a level where you're selling a lot of beats and you're sending a lot of beats out to artists and you're popping, you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars on the internet and you're sending out beats. At that point, you can probably sit down someday and submit all your content ID. Submit it through some distribution website like DistroKid or whatever that protects people from, you can have the content ID whole thing set up so that people can still use your beats but you're still protected on YouTube or anything like that. I honestly don't have that. I don't think it's, it's not worth my time right now. And if you're sending out beats, you can have a team of people, you can have a lawyer, you can have a manager, you can have people doing all that stuff for you so that you don't have to worry about it. Those people are gonna track down people that are using your beats. And if it's worth the money, if they're making thousands of dollars, you're gonna get your splits because you have a lawyer and all that stuff in place. And even if you don't have it, even if you don't have the copyright set in stone, you still own the beat, you know what I mean? You made it, it's on your computer, here's the FLP. I make beat making videos, here's a video of me making it or whatever. But yeah, I don't know really what I'm trying to say, but I just wanted to talk about this for a second at the beginning of this vlog, just because I feel like little things like that really deters people from getting started. And it's almost like used as an excuse because they don't have their copyright set up. They don't have their content ID set up, so I can't post beats. And don't get me wrong, I've done the same type of shit with content ID. Put your tags on your beats and don't worry about it. getting this beat ready to put out on my website and um, kylebeats.com right here. When I'm putting out beats on my website, there's four different files that I like to put out. MP3 file, untagged, WAV file, untagged, and then the tracked out stems, which is basically everything in one track. 
after you do those, you're also gonna have a tagged MP3 that you're gonna put over the top. So you're gonna have four main files. This is really simple. I mean, a lot of you guys probably already know this, but when you're exporting a beat and you go to wave, if you wanna track out the stems, click split mixer tracks right here. And that will give you the stems of each beat. That will just give you every single one of these tracks as its own wave file so that an engineer can drag it in. But if you don't have everything in a track, it's not gonna do it. And it's gonna name it whatever you have the name here. So basically I put those in, a, if you put those in a zip file, that's the track out with them. That's really basic stuff, but in case some of you guys don't know that, someone uh, someone asked me that the other day, so. There he is. What's up, big dog? <laughs> How you doing, brother? Big dog for, for us today. All right, so here he is, the man on my FaceTime. Hey. <laughs> Came actually just put out an album Yeah. last night. Yeah. Talk, talk, Yellow talk EP. To Yellow EP is a four song, little small project. I'm doing all these small projects right now, just like four songs. So this one's the first one, and then there's another one in like a month. I got a beat on there. It's tight. So uh, you, you got the best song, bro. That shit's got like more views than anything else, like really? significantly. He put it out last night, midnight. So to celebrate, I'm going out to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, during the day. It's all on me, like you don't really want. Girl, let me tell you something. I need to know, I wanna know why you be always front. Taking those pigs, got you convinced that you was really stunting. Just going through some beats right now. I didn't even realize how many beats that I have on here. Like there's like folders and folders of just random beats that I completely forgot about. Even beats that I haven't even mixed or haven't even put into a folder because they're still in FLPs. All right guys, so that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you guys for coming through. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of the views. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm out here making beats every other day. So until the next time, make sure you drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.